welcome to the 10th part of my Europa League jersey review and finally I'm wearing my Belgium shirt. Uh, we have the third Belgian team in the Europa League uh, today and we had already won a Champions League, so a really good season for Belgium. And it is fitting this time around because that Belgian team, as we will see, plays in red um, shirts. But we're not starting in Belgium, we're actually starting in Spain with one of the hottest teams at the moment in Sevilla, who switched ahead of the season to Nike and got a very boring Nike kit uh, right after 2016-17 template. I guess they have, uh, this is the 18 version because we have now this sideband also going into the sleeves. But you know, that's the only innovation there. The kit is really Nike with the Sevilla patch on, on crest on there and the sponsor gave the six stars. Gonna stick with that. Same goes for the home jersey, which I actually, it looks very much like a Frankfurt jersey, which is not a good thing to say. Where's the black coming from? Um, the sleeves, I don't know. At least the color is going all the way, all the way around. So I think that looks okay, but I'm not a big fan of this one either, and I gave this five stars. I'm gonna stick with that too. And also, it's already in my La Liga jersey review, the third jersey, which is actually same template. It's just black with gray shoulders, and I just don't get it. If there were red shoulders, I think I could live with it much more than this way. But this is black for black's sake. I again don't like it much it has some cohesiveness with the white sponsor the white swoosh and whatever is in the crest but i cannot go higher than four stars in this one the second team in this group is actually krasnodar and from russia and here you have a whole team picture in their home jersey which is all black with some green uh, and you see this patterning that we already saw many Puma shirts but we've never seen this um, strike across like a solid we saw the brush stroke strike on Milan and Dortmund but this is kind of the combination of both of these doesn't look that bad I just don't like the shade of the green a lot also the monochromatic crest does not fit very well and honestly this picture looks the players look pretty scary. It looks more like a metal band or something like that. Uh, the sponsor, yeah, add some orange. So there, there you also go. I like what they want to do. I just wish that the colors, especially the green. If the green was a lot brighter, I think I could like the shirt a lot. But this way, I think I'm just going to go with a six star rating here. The away jersey is actually... A little bit more interesting but again with the monochromatic crest I find the sleeve cuffs super interesting with uh, them initially being white and there's a black band and then there's a little fade this makes an interesting um, contrast the shirt color is similar to what we saw also the World Cup for Switzerland and Uruguay so not the greatest but I guess uh, you can do it like that but yeah a pretty black and white affair Overall, um, I like it a bit better than the home jersey, but I'm not sure if I can give it if, if it justifies a higher rating. I really find the sleeve cuff super interesting. Maybe I'll give this, I'll give this seven stars. Why not? I think it's a pretty cool look overall. I wish that the crest was not monochromatic though. Then finally to Belgium, Standard de Liège. Um, Plays in New Balance shirts, uh, which again have this weird thing. If a New Balance here, you know, you have the front part of the jersey is going all the way up here to the sleeve, which creates a little weird shape. And I blame Nike for that because they started with this. And then uh, you have the sleeves actually meeting behind the collar and they try to accentuate it. I don't get it really. Um, I also don't get why there's so much gold on this jersey. I know Standard de Liège plays in all red, but the crest just in gold is a little bit underselling it in my opinion. 
Um, I think it's a classy look overall and actually with the gold stripe you don't see this accentuating um, not too much so that is a plus going for the shirt also that the response is actually quite simple it is in your face but it's quite simple overall and I think for that reason I want to even give this yeah eight stars it is uh, sim ah, let's go seven I think I feel more comfortable with seven here uh, but uh, overall there's uh, stuff to like maybe the gold there could be something done about that but it also has its uh, purpose here so yeah uh, the away jersey is yeah if Liverpool had a grey away jersey like that uh, there's not there's also a little bit of crazy pattern on there in form of the stripes going down here and they have to form stripes which you know, at least the uh, fading stripes and the form stripe is connecting via this red line. So I think I give I give it to that to them that this looks okay. -ish. As you know, I'm not a big fan of grey, um, but it's not the worst shirt either. So yeah, I think since it's grey, I'm only gonna give this five stars. But it's overall not a bad shirt. And then the last team is actually quite a small team from Turkey, uh, Kizar Spor, um, where you see also the Nike template from 16. But actually here, I actually like how it's done because you have the green sleeves, you have the white accent going around, and then you have the green and black striping. And that actually looks all right to me. Um, is it exciting? No, but it's also not that bad. So I think overall this is a really nice effort uh, by Nike. I mean, it's a template, but you've got the stripes in and they go all around. Um, of course, I wish that they were on the sleeves, but I think I'm very comfortable giving this seven stars. However, the away jersey is a disappointment. This is just white with gray and not much else. And uh, those colors have nothing to do. If you see here the club crest where the player is standing in front of, has nothing to do with that crest. Why is the gray there? Make it at least green. Or you know you can uh, make a green, uh, green black fade and then maybe a green the taping that goes around like that. But uh, this is disappointing. I'm gonna give this I think only four stars. Well there you go. This was actually quite interesting group. I mean um, many non-standard jerseys, stand, standard Liege, standard jerseys, but um, quite interesting. Uh, nothing super exciting, but also nothing really, really, really bad. Maybe except for the Akiza uh, and uh, Away and Sevilla third jersey. Let me know what you thought about these kits. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked that video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these. And we'll see you tomorrow with the next group. Bye. Up until then.